Hi, my name is Walt Farchman, Product Manager for the EDAC XR. In this short presentation, I'd like to show how to create a sensor database using MX Assistant and also how to import that sensor database to your EDAC XR. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to hbm.com and download a copy of the MX Assistant. You can do this by going to homepage, hbm.com, to software, and then to downloads. Under downloads, you'll see Quantum and Somat XR. And then if you scroll down, you'll see um, a file here that is called, let's see if I can find it, the system DVD, which is uh, about 410 megs and it has the MX Assistant. Once you download that, extract that file, then you can launch the MX Assistant. So now you have MX Assistant installed. Let's launch it. And this will be the tool you use uh, to edit, modify, create a sensor database. In the future, we hope to support uh, an Excel format that can also be saved as a sensor database. But for now, this will be the tool you'll use. When you open MX Assistant, there's a tab up here called Sensor Database. And uh, one thing that you have to know, this top one here is not editable. So this is the HBM Sensor Database with all the sensors that HBM provides. Uh, in the sensor database, but what you can do is make a copy of that and you would do that by simply hitting add and I'm going to, I can hunt for that and it's under um, HBM MX Assistant, so you installed it so you'll have a copy of this and this is the English version E and now I've made a copy there and um, this is now editable and I can change the name. So maybe I want to um, change the name of this file. Um, oops. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not change the name. It's save as. And maybe I'll put it on my uh, desktop and I'll just call it uh, um, Demo MX Assistant Sensor Database. So now you have a sensor database. This makes the most sense to probably start with one that's already has all the sensors in it. You can then modify, delete, um, rename whatever you want to do from this point so I'm not going to go in a lot of editing uh, functionality but you can see if you click on a, a sensor you can change parameters of that sensor um, you can also add a sensor let's say I want to or add a group I can select here and um, add a new group I right click add a new group and maybe I want my excels to be all in one group so now i have this new group nothing in there you can see the plus but it's pretty easy to again right click and i can add a sensor and there's some predefined templates here for you uh, maybe it's a bridge type or maybe it's iepe um, and you can enter and change the parameters here. You can change the name. Maybe it's uh, PCB123 is the sensor name. Um, and you can kind of get an idea of how you can just keep adding sensors and create your own group. So let's say I've made all the changes and deleted things. And maybe I've created my own sensor database from scratch. But however you get there, What's important to remember is now you have to save this sensor database. So um, this uh, highlight this and hit save as and the format that the EDAC XR and the CX23 for the SOMAT XR1 is an SDBX file. 
And so all you do now is you save that and we'll call that, um, um, you know, custom sensor database dot and it'll put on the extension SDBX. And I probably should have noted where that is, but um, let's see, save as, it's going to be on my desktop. So now we're going to show how to import that to an EDAC XR. We've now created a sensor database using MX Assistant, and I'd like to show how to import that to your EDAC XR. It's very simple. Uh, go to the System tab once you're connected to uh, your EDAC XR. I'm using Chrome. Um, select Import. You can select a file type. This is also the location under Databases where you would import like a, a CAN DBC file or even the text uh, CAN database that we uh, support with EDAC and also with EDAC XR. And here is your SDBX file where your sensor database. You don't have to select a file type. Once you browse, and I put this on my desktop, I can select that, that file and simply hit import. And this is a big sensor database, 700, I believe, uh, sensors. And it'll show up under sensor database. You'll see there's already some sensor databases that have been defined. And now there's the one that uh, we created, the custom sensor database. It has 785 sensors. You may not have that big, but you might have that big. Um, and so now it's ready to use, and it's very easy to use the sensor database. You can go to your setup tab. I have a bridge board, and I'll just show you quickly how you can drill down into your sensor database. Um, and uh, maybe I want to add a strain gauge, 350 ohm, and then simply drag and drop. And that information then comes into your um your hardware, you can use your dialog, uh, looking at the wiring. So everything comes in. Um, so pretty simple. Hopefully uh, that's useful. Uh, this short video just to show how to create and how to import a sensor database. But if you have any other questions, please contact our support team or certainly uh, you can contact me and my information will be on the following page. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me or our technical support team if you have any questions and if we could be of any assistance. Thanks a lot.